What's with all the bowing? Today I want to talk about bowing in jiu-jitsu. And I put up a, a post on Facebook uh, yesterday just asking, you know, how many of you guys, my jiu-jitsu friends, how many of you guys uh, bow in at your academy? And I was really surprised that a large number uh, do. They, um, I, and I've been to many academies, and let me first say that I absolutely have nothing wrong with the practice whatsoever. Uh, it's just a little bit different. I'm, I'm not used to it, and, and I'd love to hear your, your, your take on it, those of you who, who are, are listening, uh, and especially if you find somebody who's been around a long time, if any of you old school guys uh, who've been around longer than me uh, can give me some insight on when this kind of started um, being a, a common practice in jiu-jitsu. And maybe um, I have some theories, I don't know. Maybe it's because a lot of the guys that, that do jiu-jitsu in the U.S., have come from other traditions. Um, Jiu-Jitsu itself came from Japan, and obviously they bow in Japan. Um, but the way it was kind of um, uh, articulated to me when I started, and actually one of the things that kind of endeared me to the art, was that uh, it was a that was sort of a cultural thing. It was viewed as a cultural thing uh, from the East, and here in the the, the U.S. Uh, or in the West, we we shake hands uh, to greet each other, and to, I guess as, as a show of respect. And uh, I guess that's kind of the culture that I was brought up in, and, and it's, it's kind of surprising that so many people um, have either adopted it um, or have been taught that. Uh, again, not that it's wrong. I, I, don't, I really have nothing against it, and I have many of my, many of my very close friends um, who run amazing academies. It's part of their culture. They, they bow in and out, uh, bow into the class. Sometimes you'll have guys who bow to the mat um, and uh, to pictures of the Grand Masters, things like that, and then to each other. Um, and uh, that I really don't have, I, I really don't have a problem with it, it just kind of surprises me. And um, uh, when I first started, um, I went to one of the, one of the first seminars I went to was, uh, was, was with my, my teacher, Helson. And uh, I, I'd heard all these stories about Helson, and I really couldn't wait to meet him. And but I was kind of nervous. I didn't know how to to address him. And I, I, you know, I walk in the room, and he's got this, you know, jovial attitude, and he's shaking hands with everybody. And and I went up to to meet him for the first time, and I asked him, you know, how how should I address you? Should I call you Master or anything? And he looked at me kind of strange, like, No, my name's Helson. He shook my hand. He goes. You show me respect by showing up to my class. And that made a really, really big impression on me uh, because one of the things that was great in, in my mind about jiu-jitsu was that it got rid of all the, the silly things in the martial arts and really focused on what worked. And um, uh, I think in a lot of ways, I do think that sometimes formalities can um, lead to unintended consequences. Um, I think there's a different connotation in the West when people bow to other people. It's sort of a almost subservient thing. Um, uh, I know it doesn't have to be, and it's not uh, it's not perceived that way. I think by most people who do it, uh, it's just a show of respect. Um, and of course, we have our own formalities in my class. We we shake hands at the end of class. We run down the line. I shake hands with everybody. Uh, but even things like uh, like people calling me professor I, I, I don't like I try to try to correct people w when they do that uh, because because that's how it was um, that's how it was sort of articulated to me and I, I, I really appreciated that I, I you know I looked up to to Helson a lot still do uh, and when I met Grandmaster Elio I, I shook his hand and I said it was great to meet you and um, like I say I have nothing against the practice I think it can be um, done done right for the most part uh, in, in jiu-jitsu academies, but I think um, uh, I, I really do think that some formalities can eventually degrade uh, the arts and, and, um, and sort of, um, I think some people let those things go to their head, you know, oh, bow to your sensei or call me master. That's one of the things that I really, really appreciated about jiu-jitsu and uh, um, I was very thankful uh, that I found the art when I did. Um, and uh, a friend of mine sent this to me, Jacob Whitfield sent this to me uh, um, on Facebook. 
and uh, and I, I don't know why I didn't even think about it. I know I've read it in the past, and I have the book at home, but he sent me a clip from Grandmaster Elio's uh, master textbook, and it says in here, under etiquette and hygiene, let me start by reminding you that bowing is a cultural tradition in the Orient. Over there, when two people meet at church or at a restaurant, they bow to each other. Many styles of martial arts carried on that tradition and required that practitioners bow as a sign of respect. In Brazil, as in many parts of the world, when we meet someone, we shake hands. That is what I have done all my life. So if we meet, please remember, I don't expect you to bow to me. A handshake will do. And I also appreciate um, reading that again. So thanks for sending that to me, Jacob. And uh, I guess that's how I feel about it. Again, I have nothing against the practice itself. But um, and if, if I go to my friend's academy and they bow, when in Rome, do as the Romans. You know, I, 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 I respect their, their traditions, their, their thing. But uh, I hope that nobody sees that as a sign of disrespect on, on our part. Uh, the, uh, I think the further is, uh, it couldn't be any further from the truth. I respect deeply all of my students, and, um, and I hope that they have equal respect for me. So let's do some jiu-jitsu with a kid. What do you do when I grab your wrist? What are you going to do? What do you do? Do you remember what to do? Make a fist. Point your thumb towards the opening here like this. Now bend your elbow to my elbow. Take your elbow up like this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job. Do it again. Keep your base. Don't let me pull you. Don't let me pull you. Don't let me pull you. Make a fist. There you go. Good job. Now, uh oh. Now what do you do? Keep your base. Don't let me pull you. Now grab your fist. Use your other hand. Grab your fist. Now pull it up. Bend your elbow up. Yes. Good like this. Put your fist out like this. Now grab your fist with the other hand. Good. Now take your elbow and bend it up through the sky. Yeah, good. There you go. So if I grab your arm, keep your base. Put your foot out. Don't let me pull you. Don't let me pull. Now grab your fist. Now pull your elbow up. Go, 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 go. Pull your elbow up. Pull your elbow up. Push your elbow up. Up this way. Very good. Try one more time. You're going to take it up like this. Bring it up, 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 up. Right in the middle. Right in between my hands. Okay? So I pull. You grab your fist. Yeah! Awesome. Nice job. Good job. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> Good job, buddy.